Welcome back to the channel. This is Pearl Snap, and we're doing another Oracle of the Renegade Goddess. Not a channel message, but today it's a poetry reading. And this is a poem by um, a woman named Josephine Jacobson. And um, I, I, had, I had clipped out this, this poem out of an old New Yorker magazine millions of years ago when I used to subscribe to the New Yorker. I don't anymore, but um, I clipped it out. Here's a, here's a picture of it. I don't know if you can see that. And I had it, it, it like always tacked to my bulletin board wherever I had a bulletin board or up on the refrigerator with a magnet or something because I just love this poem. It, it just really... It, it, it makes me misty sometimes when I read it. Distinctions by Josephine Jacobson. It is hard to love the pessimist holding forth from his dank ditch, searching for woes as for Easter eggs like Proust's butler. It is hard to love the optimist putting his jolly mask on grief predicting joys which never come, but will be said to have done so. It is easy to love the feckless who takes the day's jerky ride without the help of theory, constantly thrown by chance, surprised by joy, surprised by woe, a constant wonderer who never triumphed in foresight, innocently astonished. She was um, in her 60s when she wrote this poem, and I, and I think you have to be to understand human nature so well. I think you really do have to be in your 60s to write a poem like this. Um, here's a little bit about her history. Um, she was a Canadian-born American poet, short story writer, essayist, and critic. She was appointed the 21st Poet Laureate Consultant in Poetry to the Library of Congress in 1971. Um, in 1997, she received the Poetry Society of America's highest award, the Robert Frost Medal for Lifetime Achievement in Poetry. And then, you know, this little paragraph was in the middle of all the other stuff in her biography. I'm not going to read it all except for this one paragraph because listen to her life. Jacobson's father, a doctor and amateur Egyptologist, interesting, died when she was five. Her brother suffered a nervous breakdown. Her mother suffered bouts of manic depression. Jacobson found solace in reading the poetry of Robert W. Service and Rudyard Kipling and they inspired her to begin writing poetry. So that's interesting. It sounds like they, they almost like they got the mummy's curse on their family or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's not funny. I hope not. But anyway, um, Josephine Jacobson, I'm a big fan of yours. I salute you. I had so many thoughts on this poem. Uh, uh, I wanted to see if I could express why I think it's so uh, valuable, such, such a valuable thought this woman had here. Um, you know, she, she starts out with that first paragraph about how it's hard to love the pessimist, you know, people who get attached to negativity, you know, and they go around looking for it everywhere, you know, like uh, holding forth from his dank ditch searching for woes, <laughs> that's so perfectly expressed. I don't know if you know anyone like that, but you know, the pessimist, okay? And then it's hard to love the optimist, and that's swinging to the other extreme. You know, these people that are always, you know, it's all good, and, and it really isn't, you know? It's not, and everything isn't all good. It's, and it gets ridiculous too. It's, it's hard to love the optimist putting his jolly mask on grief predicting joys which never come. <laughs> but then they, they insist that they did, you know, but, but will be said to have done so. People like that get all over my nerves, you know? <laughs> like, 
Like, I like to keep it real, okay? I'm not, like, I'm not going to indulge this the kind of, like, blind optimism or grumpy perpetual pessimism. And then you've got this other person here. It's easy to love the feckless. If, if you don't, for anybody who doesn't know what feckless means, it means somebody who's kind of, like, almost, like, clueless. They're at the mercy of fate, almost, you know? They're like, the, it could, the feckless person gets hit by lightning and stuff like that, you know? Like, it's almost like they don't have any good luck or something. Um, uh, who takes the day's jerky ride without the help of theory, constantly thrown by chance. Well, they don't use um, tarot card readers, probably. <laughs> surprised by joy, surprised by woe, excuse me. A constant wonderer who never triumphed in foresight innocently astonished. Notice she calls it a wanderer, not a wanderer. That's an O, not an A. Okay. Someone who um, is always thinking about, about it, you know, wondering. They eat a lot of Twizzlers, you know, chew on that. <laughs> um, who never triumphed in foresight. It, it means he never had a clue, never saw it coming. <laughs> innocently astonished and that is the way the world is if you're if you're not all bent out of shape seeing things through rose-colored glasses or or only seeing a half half a glass full every time you look at anything you know if you can just keep it real just keep it real people you know be the feckless innocently astonished I love that. Have a great rest of your day and like, share, subscribe, come back and visit again. Thank you for coming by.